All right, I have to admit something, and that is this. There are some really bizarre things that dogs do that I did not understand. I thought that I knew the real reason why they lick their crotches, or why they grow crazy after having a bath, or why they follow us everywhere, even to the bathroom. But, well, I was wrong, because it turns out that there are hidden meanings to these bizarre behaviours that I'd have never have guessed. However, I am really glad that I do know them now, since it means that I understand my dog, Starbuck, so much more. 1. Why do dogs go crazy after having a bath? So, I'll be honest, Starbuck goes nuts after having a bath. He gets the zoomies and he runs around the house, rubbing himself on everything. And so I wondered, why do dogs do this? And it turns out that there are three reasons for this bizarre behaviour. The first is obvious, they are wet. So they try to dry themselves on all of our stuff. And the second reason is that they're celebrating. Yes, a lot of dogs don't like baths, so they run around to celebrate when they're over. But the third reason really surprised me. Unlike us, dogs don't like smelling like shampoo and soap. Instead, they much prefer to smell like dirt, grass, and, well, poop. In other words, they like to smell like a dog. And so, when Starbuck rubs himself against my rug after a bath, He's hoping to rub off that nice smell so that he can get back to smelling like himself again. 2. Why do dogs gulp their food so fast? So, have you ever noticed that if a dog likes their food, that they'll often eat it super fast? That's one reason why I got Starbuck food toys, to help slow down his eating, so he wouldn't gobble it up so quickly and get indigestion. But something that I didn't know is that dogs instinctively eat this way because their throats and their tongues are very different to ours. You see, it is on the tips of our tongues that we taste sweet flavours the strongest. That is why when you lick an ice cream, you usually instinctively use the tip of your tongue. But for dogs, it is the opposite. They taste sweet flavours more strongly at the back of their tongues, instinctively encouraging them to gulp back the food so that they can taste it better. Plus, unlike us, dogs can taste with their throats because they have a surprising amount of taste buds back there. And so when they gulp back their food quickly, they're still tasting it and enjoying it. 3. Why do dogs lick your face? So here is an interesting fact about dogs that most people don't know. Besides the occasional lick, dogs will usually not lick the faces of other dogs, even if they like them, and they will only lick human faces. And that is because, while most people do guess correctly that a dog licking you is a sign of affection, it also means something else as well. You see, when dogs are puppies, they will instinctively lick their mother's faces as a greeting. In return, she will regurgitate and vomit into their mouth. This is how she feeds them as their caregiver. So, does this mean then that when your dog greets you by licking your face, that they are asking you to regurgitate and vomit into their mouths? No. But what it does show is that dogs see humans as their caregivers as we feed them. That is why dogs will not display this form of affection towards other dogs, even if they see them as friends or family. They only instinctively lick our faces because domesticated dogs have been bred to know that we will care for them. 4. Why do dogs eat kibble? Okay, Sarah, you might be thinking, why are you so surprised that dogs eat kibble? And it's because if you have ever tried kibble out of curiosity, it is disgusting. And to show you, this here is some of Starbucks kibble. I'm going to give it a little taste test on camera and you can watch my reaction and see how I feel about the taste of it. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, I don't recommend it. Kibble is salty and bitter. Yet, many dogs will very happily eat it each day. Why? Well, it turns out that there are two reasons why they like it. The first is that dogs don't taste as well as we do. We have about 9,000 taste buds, whereas dogs have about 1,700. Dogs don't taste salt as strongly as us. And the second reason is that kibble is specially formulated to have a super strong meaty smell. Since they have weak taste buds, but a much stronger sense of smell than us, their experience of the flavour of kibble comes mostly through their noses and they love it. 5. 
why do dogs bite each other while playing? I'll be honest, when I first saw Starbuck playing with other dogs and biting them, it made me very nervous. It made me concerned. Is he aggressive? Is he being mean, I wondered? But nope, it turns out that it is perfectly normal. Not many people know this, but it actually has a name, jaw sparring. Jaw sparring is when a dog bites or mouths another dog while play fighting. Dogs play fight with each other as an instinct left in their DNA from when they lived in the wild. In the wild, dogs had to fight to survive. And so when they are puppies, dogs will start to play fight with each other to learn how to do it. But it doesn't hurt. You can see that Starbuck and his best friend Charlie here will jaw spar while playing and they like it. And if one did hurt the other during jaw sparring, that dog would yelp, letting the other dog know that they bit too hard. Six, why do dogs go crazy for peanut butter? It's true, most dogs love peanut butter and Starbuck is no exception. Whenever he gets peanut butter, his eyes get big with excitement. He will do practically anything if it means that he is going to get peanut butter. And it makes a lot of sense because peanut butter has the nutrients in it that dogs naturally crave. You see, a study was done that gave a group of dogs three different types of food that equally tasted as nice. One was high in fat, another was high in protein, and the third was high in carbohydrates. The dogs were allowed to eat as much of these foods as they wanted until they ate all of their calories for the day. And guess which one they chose? They usually chose to eat the food that was high in fat, and about 70% of the nutrients of peanut butter are healthy fats. That's why they love it. But there was actually something quite surprising in that study. You see, they also ran this exact same study on a group of cats. And guess which food they chose? They chose the food that was high in carbohydrates, not protein or fat. Honestly, I'd have never have guessed that. Seven, why do dogs follow you everywhere? So I don't know about your dog, but Starbuck follows me a lot even to the bathroom. If I close the door, he'll often lie in front of it waiting for me. I have to always be careful not to step on him when I open up the door. I used to worry about this sort of behavior and wondered if he had separation anxiety, but no, it's perfectly normal. Dogs are pack animals. Domesticated dogs still have a lot of the instincts that they had when they lived in the wild. Back then, there was strength and safety in numbers, and so they usually chose to stay close. It also made it easier to work together to hunt prey. And so, because we are now our dog's pack, it is normal for them to follow us around to stay close. In their minds, it's important that they be beside you, even when you're trying to do your business, because you know, you never know when a tiger is gonna jump in through your bathroom. Eight, why do dogs lick their crotch? Yes, as gross as it is, Dogs will, like Starbuck here, groom themselves by licking their private parts to keep it clean from dirt and discharge. At first I thought, wouldn't this taste disgusting? But no, it doesn't. Since they have just a fraction of the taste buds that we do, dogs don't really seem to mind the taste of their own poop. Some even seem to actively like it, so it doesn't stop them from grooming themselves. Aren't dogs just so bizarre sometimes? So if you love dogs as much as I do, please subscribe. And to learn more about why dogs do the strange and funny things that they do, be sure to watch the video here on screen. Starbuck and I will see you in the next video.